All right, the last effect I'm gonna do is I want it to look like it's snowing. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. You'll have to use a little bit of science for this. So I'm gonna need to paint a sky color so I will have snowflakes that will contrast against the sky color. So I'm gonna stick with cool colors, I think. So I'm gonna start out with a darker blue at the top. I'm gonna leave Mr. Yeti's head alone, so I'm gonna paint around that. And for the snowflakes to show up, you need your colors to come out dark. So you'll notice I'm adding a little bit more blue in there to keep it nice and dark. You also need to keep it pretty wet. So I'm gonna add some water in there too. I don't want it to dry when I add my next color. So now I'm gonna blend in some purple. Really easy to blend those two colors because blue goes into making purple. I'm gonna pull this down. I like the idea of kind of going back and forth a little bit. Keeping it wet, so you gotta work quick. And I want it darker, so I'm gonna go back with a little more paint in there. Really aiming my paintbrush, going up against the permanent marker line, but not over it. Gonna add some more paint over here, a little bit more water. So the trick you're gonna do to get your snowflakes is you're not gonna sit there painting on little white dots. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use salt. So salt, if you guys ever eaten something salty, it usually makes you thirsty, it dries things up, okay? So what it's gonna do is it's going to dry up the paint and the water. So I have this big can of salt. If you have a salt shaker, you can just sprinkle it onto the sky part. I'm gonna put a little in my hand, then I'm gonna pinch and sprinkle so I can control where it's gonna be, because I don't really need to put it on places where there's no paint. So I can see instantly, you're gonna see some of it start to soak up into the salt. So this effect, the salt will pull the paint and the water into it. And I think that's enough, so I'm just gonna Toss that in my water bucket to rinse out later. Now, the thing is I want to brush the salt off and see really bad what it looks like, but I have to wait on it to dry. For those of you that I know are like me, you just can't stand it, you wanna see what it looks like. I actually did another painting with another class where I did a snow globe, and that's how I got the effect of the snowflakes in the snow globe. So when this dries later, I will brush the salt off. I probably wanna have it on like a kitchen counter next to a sink, and I can brush the salt right into the sink and not make a mess, all right? So I look forward to seeing what yours turns out looking like and what you guys send me.